Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see configure retention policies in Microsoft Purview. So I'm going to go through Microsoft documentation to explain a little bit more about it. So emails, documents, Skype for business and team conversations. Uh, your users will generate a lot of content every day. Okay, so we have to take control of it by setting up retention policies to keep what we want and to get rid of what we don't want. All right, so users users can continue to edit and work with the content when it is subject to a retention policy because the content is retained in place in its original location. If someone edits or deletes content subject to the policy, a copy is saved to a secure location where it is retained while the policy is in effect. So we'll have to navigate to Microsoft Purview Compliance Portal and see how it works. All right, so I am logged on to the portal and then I will go to data lifecycle management. If I just scroll down here and I will go to retention to conf retention to configure retention policies or I would go to subject right request because this is the lab tenant. I may not have that option. But I still see under data lifecycle management. Okay, I have retention policies. And I see if I have existing policies or not. Let it refresh. I'll refresh it again. I don't have it. I will say new retention policy. I will give a name to the policy. Then I would do settings, add a description, location, and then I'll finish it after reviewing the setting so I'll just name it test for now if you want to keep in caps you can if not it's your wish as well I'll do next choose the admin units you would like to apply this policy to I would go with admin units for directory. Choose the type of retention policy to create. Locations can be specified dynamically uh, with an adaptive scope using attributes or properties. Or if you know the specific target location, you can select them individually. Okay. After setting adaptive policy scope, which consists of attributes or properties that defines the user, no, I will go with static and test as well. Choose where to apply this policy on uh, SharePoint, on uh, Exchange, Skype, wherever you want. I'll go with default for OneDrive, SharePoint and Exchange mailboxes for now. Retain items for a specific period. Retain items for a specific period, seven years, five years or whatever or you can select it for custom as well. You can do it for less as well. Zero years as well, one year. Start the retention period based on when items were created. At the end of retention period, you can set to do nothing or delete items uh, automatically. Or you want to retain items forever, only delete items when they reach a certain age. That's totally upon the admin. Okay, let me check the documentation as well. Or you can say delete items automatically. Click on next, review it. And you click on submit. Okay, now as you reviewed the settings that you, the location that were applied in this setting were uh, the exchange email, SharePoint sites, OneDrive accounts, Microsoft 365 groups, Skype for business, exchange public folders, team channel messages, team chats as well. 
now it, you will you have successfully created our retention policy okay you can review your task review the recommendation it says save time and increase reliability of your policies by using adaptive scopes you can read more about it this as well and that is how you configure your retention policy i hope this was uh, informative for all of you if you have any further questions please mention them in the comment section and i will see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day